Hello friends, welcome to the next video. This is Polish Engineer. In previous video, we have seen the block diagram and the basic topology of variable mode linear power supply. If you haven't seen that, please watch it. In this video, we are going to see the steps to design the variable mode dual tracking power supply. Let's do that. Let's take the sample design to design the variable mode dual tracking power supply. Uh, first we want to take the input from mains that is 230 volt RMS single phase and the frequency should be 50 Hz. Output of this uh, dual tracking mode is plus minus 5 volt to plus minus 10 volt. It should be variable and the load current should be 500 mA. Operating temperature that is ambient temperature for this system should be 0 degree to 45 degree Celsius and permissible ripple should be 10 mV pick to pick. First step of uh, design of the this linear power supply is uh, selection of topology. These are the load that is for my plus 5 volt to 10 volt and this one is for minus 5 volt to minus 10 volt. These two are the regulator IC. This is for minus regulation and this is for plus regulation. And these two are the uh, adjustable resistance. These two are the feedback capacitor. This is the uh, as we can see that this is the electrolytic capacitors. This one is connected like uh, opposite manner. Uh, these are the rectifier diode connected in bridge format. This is the center tap transformer and the meaning of this transformer is already we have seen in previous video. And the main part is the voltage follower. This is the op amp and this is the negative voltage follower. This is the uh, input resistance. This is the feedback resistance for that. And these two should be equal to each other. Is compute the maximum load condition. RL should be output voltage upon output current is equal to 20 ohm. Now the next step, the selection of appropriate three terminal voltage regulator. The selection criteria should be output voltage, output current, ripple rejection, dropout voltage, line regulation and load regulation operating temperature, thermal resistance, output tolerance and package availability. Hence for our design, we will select the LM317 for positive supply and LM337 for negative supply. Fourth step is compute the permissible minimum voltage at the input of the regulator. That is, we input minimum is equal to output voltage plus drop down voltage of regulator IC plus 1 volt marginal that is equal to 13 volt. Fifth step, compute the maximum ripple allowable at the input of the regulator IC. That is, ripple rejection is equal to 20 into log of V ripple peak to peak at input upon V ripple peak to peak at output. We have to find out this value. So, for LM317 and LM337, the ripple rejection value is 65 dB, that is from data sheet. So this value, I mean this value is equal to 17.7 ohm. So we'll now the we'll take the moderate value of V ripple peak to peak input that is 5 volt. Next step, compute the V input maximum at the output of the rectifier. That is over here. So the V input maximum is equal to V input minimum plus V ripple pick to pick input is equal to 18 volt. Seventh step is selection of filter capacitor. C is equal to load current upon 2 into frequency into V ripple pick to pick maximum. This value is equal to 1000 microfarad. Now let's find out the working voltage of this capacitor. That should be equal to 2 into V input maximum. So this will be equal to 36 volt. Select the capacitor of 1000 microfarad with at least 36 volt working voltage. Now the next step is actual ripple calculation that is equal to load current upon 2 into frequency into capacitance. This will be 5 volt itself. Next step selection of the rectifier diode. The first parameter is peak inverse voltage. This is the formula for that and the PIV we have calculated that is 41.4 volt. Next parameter is average forward current. This is the formula that is equal to IL that is load current plus 15% marginal. 
so this value is 575 milliampere third parameter is repetitive search current this is the formula as you can see and the ifm is equal to 5.41 amperes but this is for 60 hertz so for 50 hertz we have to take the 5.92 ampere from this formula next parameter is diode average current so this is the formula and the value will be 2.99 ampere all the above values are uh, we will get from the data sheet so you could select any any of the diode which satisfy your condition for optimum design we are going to select 1 and 4 5 4 double 0 next step is selection of transformer this is the formula for vsrms that is first parameter we have to calculate by putting all this value we get the vsrms of 17.48 volt so for secondary voltage we have to multiply it by 2 for center tap transformer this value will be 34.97 volt so isrms should be 1.8 into load current for center tap transformer this will be equal to 0.9 amperes next parameter is transformer turns ratio so n is equal to these parameters so we get the turns ratio equal to 6 hence we will select the transformer for 35 volt at 1 ampere center tap with VA rating of 35 volt amperes. Now the last step is selection of adjustable resistor that is this one. Let us take the R1 is equal to 240 ohm. As you know the formula VO is equal to 1.25 into 1 plus R2 upon R1. We have, we are we uh, we have our output voltage is plus or minus 5 volt to plus or minus 10 volt. So for 5 volt R2 we can calculate is equal to 720 ohm that is minimum value and for maximum value that is 10 volt the R2 should be 1.68 kilo ohms. Uh, this is the simulation of our design all the parameters I have taken from our calculation and specially this is the uh, adjustable resistor as you want the minimum value of 720 ohm uh, if you take if you take the minimum value of this adjustable resistor we can get is 720 ohms and if you want the maximum value that is 1.6 kilo ohms we can add these two values and we can get it from there so let's see the simulation so for so for maximum value the output is 9.86 volt and 9 minus 9.81 volt that is nearly equal to plus or minus 10 volt and for very less value the output is 5 volt and here output is minus 4.9 volt that is equal to minus 5 volt so that's it